gone here at the hospital and they were able to find baby G. It did take a, could call a few minutes, but she says that uh, because I have an anterior placenta, that's probably why I wasn't able to find him. Um, it just freaked me out. Now that he's on the monitor, he's moving a lot, which I'm happy about. I don't mind. I, I kind of complain about being uncomfortable when, um, you know, he's moving and stuff, but I don't even mind anymore. I just kind of want to make sure that he's okay and get us to full term and be done with this. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even joking. Anyway, um, so that's the update right now. We're waiting on ultrasound. I'm coming to do an ultrasound just to check on him. And um, I'm not having any contractions or nothing like that, so that's good. Um, and we'll see where we are from there. Where we go from there. Okay, y'all. I knew it was a contraction. I had a contraction. I could feel It's going down now. Mm -hmm. You hear the baby? Somebody had a baby in here. She came in. Congrats to the mom that just had her baby. I can't wait to hear my son cry. labor but I am having contractions. Um, they don't hurt me at all. It's like breakfast and here's something so it's night time now. I'm gonna go find me something to eat. Hopefully I can get something to eat. I'm hungry and um, head to the house. So I'm glad I did not have the mister to come out here because he is a he worries so much about us so I'm just waiting on him to discharge me and then I'll be out. Thank you for all the prayers and all the world wishes, all the positive thoughts keep sending me positive energy that we get to full term and be able to bring this baby home. In Jesus' name, you know how we do it here. Keep our faith on fleet and always remember to strive to be on top because the bottom is already too crowded. Okay, everybody. We are leaving L and D. And I am leaving with a smile on my face. Cheese. Because my baby's heartbeat is good. 
the only thing that was concerning me was that um, when he was breathing, he was not practicing breathing, which means he's just not ready yet to be born, which is fine, because I don't want to have him this early anyway. Um, <clears throat> so I get to go home, continue to prep uh, for his arrival. And he's fine. He's moving now. What I think happened was I took Unison last night to help me sleep and help with my nausea. And the Unison made him sleepy. So from here on out, I'm not taking any sleep in. No Unison. No sleep aid. No Benadryl. Even if I get nauseous. I would just rather be nauseous and not take the med that will make him sleepy. So do what your doctor tell you to do. You know, for me, I just feel like I am not taking anything that's going to make him sleepy. I think that he was just so sleepy that he could not wake up. And that's why he was not moving. So, although they tell you to take the Unisom, B6, and whatever else the third thing is, it's supposed to be three things. Uh, I am not taking that anymore. I have Bongesta, which have all three of those in there. I don't think I'm taking that no more either. Um, <clears throat> no kind of sleep aid. I would just rather stay up and be awake than to have something happen to my baby. I'm starving and I'm craving a Atlanta Falcon sub from Publix. So I'm gonna find a Publix near me and get me a sub and go home and get my baby. Cause I'm sure she's driving her brother crazy. Um, and well, what else? Oh, I was contracting. I am having um, <coughs> irregular contraction. Irregular contraction. They don't, they ain't strong enough to, to make me say, oh, I'm having contractions. She was like, are you having pain? I was like, not nothing worth talking about. And she was like, okay, because you're contracting and I want to just check you if you allow me. I said, yeah, you can check me or whatever. My cervix is high and it's not dilated. So, I am not having strong enough contractions to make me have any kind of chain. Um, so, that's pretty much it. So, he is well. I'm going to go eat and go to sleep. Thank you all so much for your... <coughs> your prayers your positive thoughts hold on y'all let me get it Dang. Dang. hold on y'all hold on hold on okay okay thank you all so much for your prayers your positive thoughts, your positive comments, everybody who kept me going throughout this ordeal because I real deal, like, love my kids. Like, I don't want anything to happen to them. And I am going to be honest with you. I have a little bit of mommy remorse right now um, because knowing that it's potentially my fault that he so that he wasn't moving and he was just so sleepy and now he stopped um you know practicing breathing and stuff like that just for for the sake of me wanting to be able to go to sleep with ease it's kind of um giving me some mommy regret but i won't do that again <laughs> That is a lesson learned. 
and I have truly learned my lesson for that and I will never let that happen again um, so again thank you all for being with me and giving me positive words of encouragement G is good I am good and we are looking forward to these next seven weeks and then I'm able to hear him scream and cry. I'm so ready. Okay, y'all. Y'all know how we do it on this channel. Keep your faith on fleet. All things, all things, all things, all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Keep your faith on fleet. And always remember, strive to be on top. Because the bottom is already too crowded. Thank you. Everything alright, everything alright. I'ma chase my dreams. Everything alright, everything alright. I'ma chase my dreams. Everything alright, everything alright. I'ma chase my dreams. Everything alright, everything.